the the story the 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 aspiration of investors to invest in Africa has not begun now there's there is if there are lots of investors out there I meet and they believe that they need to invest in Africa but very few of them have actually invested and when I when I talk to them and I probe them what is very clear to me is even though they are convinced of the African story or the African opportunity the most difficult thing when you're considering to invest in Africa is who how will you invest who will who, who will you trust to invest in the continent and i believe that is why nabo nabo uh, uh, exists to be a preferred our aspiration right from the beginning our history uh, of partnering with with the likes of coca cola with the likes of general motors with the likes of nas with the likes of aeon and other multinational brands and other african brands um, uh other sovereign funds that have 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 worked with us the, the that 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 is proof that we have enough experience uh to 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 uh, we have demonstrated experience over time um to be preferred local investors uh for multinationals and for investors uh for individuals out there who are looking to explore the opportunity in the continent and there are a couple of points uh why it is important uh to 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 consider nabo when you're looking to invest in africa number one is that we are african and we we live here we have no other place to run to um and 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 we have to we have no choice but to make the best of what we have uh in this in this continent this is home um and and that's that's really important we don't fly in and we don't fly out and we 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 don't have our wealth somewhere in switzerland uh, uh and one day hoping to to escape there no africa is our home this is where we live and this is where we'll always live and we love it here um number 2 is just the fact that we have boots on the ground it's difficult to find opportunities when you are just visiting uh for a few for a few days africa is a uh, is constitutes of 54 countries even myself i still have never been able to cover the 54 countries i've had to find a few uh places that i believe would give would make the most um impactful uh um most impact to to our clients so we have boots on the ground we we are here when there are elections we are here uh, in the run up to elections we know the risk we know the terrain we know how to navigate through those uh, those risks we have we have had experiences in nigeria I remember nigeria just uh, before the oil price price plunged um you know we took a view as a team and we exited everything and we exited in good time and we know there are lots of investors who got locked in there but because we've learned how to survive over time uh, it helps us you know we've developed some form of agility to be able to navigate through the african terrain and make the best out of what uh, out of the monies that our clients entrust us with so boots on the ground uh number 2 is that we have deep deep local networks um it's not possible to be everywhere and where we have where we are not physically present we have always compensated by having very deep local networks we we know what's going on um in all the major markets at any point in time um and this is this is the difference of you know um investing in the developed economies compared to investing in the continent whilst in the developed economies that there's a lot of information that is available through tech various tech platforms you know a lot of information here um is very relationship driven and therefore if you do not have the right the right networks you will you will you will be knowing things after they have already happened and so we use our network very well to understand what's going on what is likely to happen how is the government likely to respond to a certain uh, new development those uh, our deep 
our deep uh, local networks always help us. Number three is a team. We, we, where else we are here in the continent, we have never considered ourselves as just a local outfit. We consider ourselves as, a, as, as, as able to stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with our counterparts in, um, in, in, in the U.S., in, in Europe and other big economic, um, uh, big capital markets uh, out there. We have charter holders here um, and, 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 and we continue to, 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 to have credentials that would match anybody else, whether you're in Hong Kong, wherever you are, we should be able to stand toe to toe. And that, so we, 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 our recruitment process is very rigorous. We start from, uh, from a, a very, a competitive graduate trainee program and we develop a pipeline of leaders uh, hoping that they will be able to lead the organization in the coming in the coming year so we believe in a, we believe one of the most one of the things that is difficult for anyone to replicate um, um, is, is is really our people and our culture and uh, that's that's something that we really uh, pride ourselves in but at the bottom of it is um, is trust and um, it's not possible to work with some someone that, or institution that you do not trust and I believe that uh, we have proven ourselves over time as a trustworthy preferred local partner for any investor whether local or international thank you and I look forward to engaging you more as um, as you explore the opportunity in the continent